Another day, another story. More than 400 years ago, in a world dominated by the mysteries of the cosmos, Galileo Galilei emerged as a torchbearer of enlightenment. In this fascinating journey through time and thought, we delve into the profound questions surrounding the nature of consciousness. Join us as we explore the enduring debate between panpsychism and physicalism, a clash of ideas that seeks to decipher the essence of the mind. In the era of Galileo, the universe was a tapestry of secrets waiting to be unraveled. Galileo's groundbreaking work revealed that the natural world danced to the tune of precise mathematical laws. From a rolling ball to a swinging chandelier, he unveiled the hidden symphony of the cosmos. Galileo, often hailed as the father of modern science, had a profound insight that not everything could be quantified. The realms of color, taste, and smell, he claimed, existed only within the confines of our consciousness. As centuries passed, the physical sciences conquered the realms of quarks and galaxies, unveiling the universe's deepest secrets. Yet, the enigma of consciousness remained elusive. Neuroscientists discovered neural correlates of consciousness but couldn't fathom how matter gives rise to the mind. Philosopher David Chalmers famously coined this as the hard problem of consciousness. At Marist College, scholars convened to unravel this enigma. They turned to an ancient idea, panpsychism. This concept suggests that consciousness is not an emergent property but a fundamental aspect of reality, like mass or electrical charge. Could consciousness be woven into the very fabric of the universe itself? Panpsychism tantalizes with a promise, a way to bypass the hard problem. If consciousness is ubiquitous, as Chalmers himself proposed, then even individual particles might possess an element of awareness. Neuroscientist Christoph Koch even ventured to say that the cosmos itself might be suffused with sentience. But this perspective stands in contrast to the majority view, physicalism, where consciousness emerges from complex systems like the human brain. Surveys reveal a philosophical divide. At the workshop, Philip Goff argued that physics might have overlooked a fundamental aspect of reality, the consciousness itself. Philosophers like Hedda Hassel Morch emphasized the explanatory gap between the physical and the mental. Describing color to someone who only sees in black and white illustrates the challenge. Some believe physical science is ill-equipped to bridge this divide, leading them to place their bets on panpsychism. Critics, however, raise valid concerns. The combination problem poses a significant challenge for panpsychism. Some argue it doesn't explain anything and lacks testable hypotheses. The debate rages on. Beyond panpsychism, scholars explore other ideas. Cosmopsychism proposes the universe itself is conscious. Psychological ether theory suggests consciousness predates brains and even implies the existence of a divine being. Cognitive scientist Donald Hoffman suggests rejecting spacetime as a fundamental concept and searching for something beyond. Physicist Lee Smolin suggests that conscious agents play a central role in the universe. A public debate between Philip Goff and physicist Sean Carroll illustrates the stark divergence of worldviews. They grapple with fundamental questions about the nature of reality itself. In the midst of this intellectual clash, the way we conceive of minds carries ethical implications. How we assess the consciousness of creatures like fish can shape our treatment of them. Is it about behavior or inner experience? Neuroscientist Anil Seth reminds us that physicalism still holds empirical weight. The debates over the nature of consciousness continue, shedding light on the mysteries of our existence. As we navigate this intricate journey through the realms of thought, the question remains, is consciousness a fundamental element of the universe, or does it emerge from the complex dance of matter? Join us in the quest for answers as we e. Thanks for watching.